Hello, you beautiful people. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy Simerson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and turn that notification bell on because you don't miss any of my future videos. If you watched yesterday's video, you'll have seen I did a full reveal of the Revolution and Game of Thrones collection, and today we are doing review number one. So I'll do quite a few products in today's video and then tomorrow's video we will do whatever is remaining. So in today's video I want to do like one eye, one palette, one eye, the other palette. So that's what we're going to do. You'll know anyway because you'll have seen the look before me because I'm just about to film it. So we're going to be using this bad boy which is the massive MAP palette on one eye and then on the other eye we will use the Forever Flawless palette. This is the three eyed raven one which looks like this we will also try out some of the brushes from the collection today as well and then i've got my little bag of my other goodies inside has my words out so we'll try the mascara and obviously we have the eyeliner and we have the matte bombs the matte liquid lipstick so yeah let's just get straight into it so for any prices and stuff obviously all the links will be down below anyway but i'll have them all obviously in yesterday's video so i'm probably not going to be able to remember the prices off the top of my head and i need to get these filmed ASAP to get them up for you. So um, I'm going to take the brush set to begin with and I'm going to take the eyeshadow brushes out. So these are just what they look like. So we have like a fluffy blending brush, more of like a packing on blending one and then an angled one. Oh they feel really soft. And then we have two face brushes. So I probably would have used this for foundation but I had to film a different video um, for my base and then obviously we have this fluffy one which I might actually use like my blusher my bronzer when I pop that on after but let's go in with the eyeshadow brushes to begin with. So as always I'm going to prep my eye with the P. Louise base in the shade Rima number no. 2. We'll just start with the one eye to begin with. So this is what the three-eyed Raven from a Flawless palette looks like. This would be perfect if you have somebody who is more into like neutrally colours because this has just everything that you need and it's some gorgeous shimmers but majority are matte which I absolutely love about this palette. So I'm going to start with the shade Cave which is this one here and I'm going to go in with the angled fluffy brush from the collection and I'm going to start by just packing that straight into the crease. Okay, pigment. <laughs> pigment come through. I'm gonna like slightly wiggle it as well just so that we're kind of blending that edge ever so slightly just to make it easier for us. So yeah I'm just gonna pack this on also in the outer corner but I am gonna go in with like a darker shade for the outer corner anyway. If you watched my video yesterday you know I have not watched Game of Thrones before so if I say anything wrong in this video I do apologize it's because I actually don't know anything about the um the series Blake's watched it but I haven't so I don't really know much about it I'm just taking the edge of that brush just to blend it out ever so slightly but I am going to go in with the fluffy blending brush and I'm going to go in with this color here so I'm just using that color to blend out the last one and I'm just using that all the way through the crease Okay, so now that it's looking a bit like this, it's got like really like dark there. I'm starting to think that actually for my eyes, I think I need to start setting my P. Louise base. Somebody commented on this in my video and I was like, do that actually might be a really good point. I'm going to have to try it in a future video. But I'm going to take this ancient shade and I'm going to take a Morphe M411, not M441 brush, <laughs> that's what it words out. And I'm just going to run that just right around the edges just to hopefully blend them out a bit more seamlessly. So as much as I want to go for this gold one here, I'm going to save that for my inner corner and I'm going to go for this one here, which is like, it's got like different colours shifts in it. Like there's some blue glitter in there, which looks really pretty. So this is the shade Wildlife. This is what it looks like. I might actually do this here and then the gold as like quite bright in that inner bit. So that's really nice. Okay, that's really pretty. I am going to go in with a darker shade in the outer corner, like I mentioned, but I'll do that afterwards. So I'm going to go in with Dream, which was that gold one, if it focuses. I'm going to pop that, wow, in. The shimmers in Forever Flowers palettes are just beautiful. Oh my god, it's not even focusing. <laughs> focusing. There we go. Um, absolutely beautiful. As always, I would always recommend doing your eyes first, especially if you are heavy handed like me when it comes to picking up shimmers. I can't help it. It's just part of who I am. So I'm going to go in with this shade next, which is Forest. And I'm going to use the same angled brush that we used for Cave out of the collection. And then I'm going to pack this on this outer corner. And this will just help to give some depth. And to be honest, like, I don't even feel like I need to go in with the black shade because I feel like that's given me just the right amount of depth that I would be wanting 
anyway. And I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush and the lighter brown and just kind of blend it all together. Oh, look at that, I love it. <gasps> oh, okay, yeah, obsessed, obsessed. I'm going to take a little brush and I'm actually going to go in with the shade Vision, which is an even lighter, like kind of like a light pale, 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 <laughs> pale gold. I'm going to take some of that and I'm going to use that actually as my in a corner. Okay, that is beautiful. I'm going to use that as well for my brow bone. So this is what that eye looks like. Obsessed. Honestly, such a nice like go-to palette. And I feel like it's just going to be one of the ones where if you like Game of Thrones, like I said, but you don't want it to be like a super out there palette or like the massive map, map on, this would be such a good like go-to day and night palette. Really, really like that. Next up, we have the big fella. <laughs> so this is the big map palette which like i said in yesterday's video it reminds me of the matrix um red and blue pill palette because it's absolutely huge so this is just what it looks like and then the inside looks like this so there's like quite a few there's quite like a i think personally quite like a weird choice of colors in here i was holding it upside down um but it's quite a weird choice of colors like there's some pops of colors there's some neutrals so I don't really know what to go for. So I think because tomorrow's video, I'm gonna do like the dragon palette on one eye, which is like all like fiery colors. And then obviously the winter palette on the other eye, which is more blues. I don't really wanna go for like for blues or anything in this palette. So I think I might actually do a cool toned eye with this because I saw somebody comment saying that they would like a cool toned palette. Obviously I have no, no um, input when it comes to products at Revolution. But I'm thinking I could definitely do like a, a cool toned kind of like look with this palette. Should we do that? So we've got like a warm toned look and a cool toned look and then tomorrow will be like a hot fiery look and then an icy look. I feel like that's gonna be pretty cool. Let's do that. <laughs> so same as the other one, I'm gonna pop on some P. Louise base. However, I'm gonna do what I've just mentioned there about seeing what it's like setting it. And there's a perfect color in here for my skin for me to set it. So I'm gonna use this color here and set my P. Louise base. So that's what it looks like with it all set let's see what this is like instead so i'm gonna start with this color here and i'm gonna go in with that morphe m411 brush which is like a big fluffier brush and i'm just gonna work this like kind of through the crease it's gonna be like my transition color because i haven't done a cool tone look in like forever <laughs> i'm gonna start with the big fluffy color and then work my way darker because i'm a little bit scared that is just that kind of like lightly flushed on my lid and then I'm going to go in with this brush I don't know where it's from <laughs> I have no idea but this brush here and then I'm going to go in with this one which is like a darker version of the one that we use as our transition color and I'm going to focus this right in the crease I don't think this is going to be the right brush for it I think it's the wrong fibers so I might change the, the brush but I'm just going to basically pack this yeah I'm going to change the brush <laughs> I'm going to go in with more of like a packing brush and put this like right through the crease and then i'm going to use that same brush that i used to kind of pack in that crease and i want to go in with a darker because i'm feeling a bit more brave now so i'm going to go in with this one here and then we're going to go in with this shimmer afterwards as well because look at this beautiful and i'm just packing that right in that outer corner i'm going to take a little bit like into like deep into the crease Okay, so now that I've packed that on, I'm going to go in with that silver shimmery shade. Oh, okay. Let me just put my finger in a little bit more. The shimmers in the Forever Flawless, like, straight away were loads better. Let me pack. Okay, so you have to pick up quite a bit to get some payoff with it, but to be honest... It's still nothing on that Forever Flawless shimmer. That's on the other one. Mm, it's such a shame. I'm going to go in with this like darker silvery cool toned one here. See, that one feels really soft compared to that one. Let's see what this one... Yeah, see that one... Hmm, I wonder if it was just that one shade because that, that one's okay. It's not like this where it was absolutely like well, but it is really, really soft and like really easy to apply. But that, that first one just... Wasn't really much like to it. I'm gonna just pack that one instead all over the lid. So it just has like a little 
shim shim moment. I've also popped some bronzer and blusher on, by the way, in case you're wondering, like, why all of a sudden I've got a bit of colour to my face. Um, and then I'm going to go back in with that darker colour and then pack this in the outer corner to add a bit of depth to the look. And then I'm going to go in with the fluffy brush and that lighter shade and blend out the edge of this. I must admit it is so weird seeing me with like a cool toned eye because it's just not what I normally do. But yeah, I'm just going to blend that out. And then that's what that one looks like. Obviously me being me, I prefer the warm toned side, but it is quite nice to see me in a more neutral side. I'm actually going to go in with an even darker shade. I'm going to go in with this one here because I feel like I just want a bit more depth. I'm going to use the same brush just because oh, that one's really painted. It's just less to, uh, to wash that way. I'm going to pack that like a lot more tighter into that outer corner. Yeah, that's what I needed. I just needed something that had a bit more depth to it. It's hard as well because obviously on this side, I've set that Pea Louise base. So the pigments of the shades won't be as intense because obviously the Pea Louise base is normally wet to make them really, really stick. So that could be another thing that might be why I'm like having to go in with more. But the shimmer, it shouldn't have really impacted on like the shimmer should have been good. It just wasn't, it wasn't giving me what I wanted. It was just like a little something. Oh, why is it not focusing? It's really doing my head in. So that is the warm toned one and the kilted one. The kilted one doesn't look like it's um, patchy on camera, but it's not. Also, when I put on my bronzer and blusher, I use this brush. It's really nice, but I don't think I'd use it for blush and I don't think I'd use it for bronzer. So I don't, oh, I just dropped it on myself. I don't know what I would use it for. I'm thinking maybe like a, a like a powder instead because it wasn't really the best shape that I wanted for blush it wasn't really the shape that I wanted for bronzer. Um, yeah, really, really soft, but I'm just not too sure what I would use it for. Somebody tell me, because my brain's not working. So I'm going to go in with that lighter shade that was on. See, that's a bit dark for my inner corner though, isn't it? I think that's the best that I'm going to get, because it looks patchy on camera, but it's not patchy in person, so I'm going to have to just get over it. Out of trying that Louise base with it being set and without, I definitely prefer it without it set, so I wouldn't be doing this again. I feel like that's really impacted on how my eyeshadow has gone on top because I've like blended it in with the eyeshadow that I've used to set the base so it's like dilated with stuff so yeah I'm not very happy with that but I do not have time to redo it so we move on. So I'm going to pop on some eyeliner so this is obviously the renaissance eyeliner but in the Game of Thrones packaging it just looks like this and then I'm going to pop this on both eyes really really nice and pigmented and I do find the Renaissance flick really easy to apply. So that's one eyeball done. It's really annoying me that this looks patchy. I'm going to punch its face in. <laughs> so that is the eyeliner on. This eye just does not like me today because the eyeliner is not going too bad, but I just, I feel like the set in the P. Louise base was such a big mistake because it just does not look, it doesn't look good at all. It's really annoying me, but I'm moving onwards because I want to get this video up for years regardless and it just shows that we're all human. Do you know what I mean? I wanted to say it as well because um, I've just been obviously looking at the comments from yesterday's video for the reveal video and I've had quite a few comments saying like thank you for what I said at the end about like not feeling pressured to keep up with collections and to buy you launches and stuff and I'll try and make sure that I say that throughout like quite a lot of my videos especially with Halloween and Christmas coming up like it's actually crazy um but I want you to know that that, that message is always going to be there with my channel do not feel pressured to buy stuff do not feel like you have to buy stuff do not feel like you have to keep up everybody. Um, a lot of the reason, obviously, now that I have all the revolution stuff is because I work for them Monday to Friday, 9 or 5. But before I worked for them, I used to buy majority of the, of the launches anyway for my YouTube so that other people could watch my videos and then save their money if it wasn't going to be a good product. So that was always my aim with my YouTube as well. So just because you see me buy new launches and stuff like that, please do not feel pressured that you have to do the same. I want to do it so I can review it and let you know whether it's actually worth your money or not because there's so many launches out there and we just we can't keep up i still got to keep up with them. this is my hobby it's so like for the average makeup consumer it's just unrealistic to keep up with it but i'm gonna curl my lashes and i'm buzzing because i finally got some um of the little replacement like pad things for my eyelash curlers these are my show you my eyelash curlers i absolutely adore these like i've had them since i did my first unicorn she's looking like 
2014, 2015, and can you believe I've never ever replaced the little tab, the little like thing on it? You can buy actual ones for Shoe Mary, but I ain't got the money to spend, I think it was like seven pounds for two pads. No. So I went to Amazon and I got like whatever is in this pack, like a big pack of them for £2.49. So Amazon come through and I'm assuming that they fit. I measured them in every everything because I'm sad. <gasps> but look, it's got a fresh pad in it. Ah, oh. I love this little box that it's coming. Like that a lot. <laughs> so yeah, bargain on Amazon. So I'm gonna curl my lashes and then we'll try the mascara. That was why I got them out, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so obviously this is what the mascara looks like and I've not actually seen the wand. Oh, okay, the wand wasn't like what I expected it to be. The wand just looks like this. So let's see whether it's any good. Oh my God, my eyelashes are curled so much nicer now that there's a new pad. That's crazy. <laughs> Like a right scruff, but um, that is just me. It's who I am. There's no point trying to hide it. This mascara is actually really nice. Um, it's loads better than what one did I try recently? The Rimmel one. I hated that. I thought it was so bad. Even the testing revolution video that I put up this week, I tested like the big lash mascara. It just wasn't for me. Whereas this, I don't know if you can do a real see because I've got eyeliner on. I've curled my lashes and put this on, and it's just kept my, them where my curl was which is really, really good because my lashes get so heavy. But it's not one, I wouldn't really say that it's one for volume, but if you want like really, really curled lengthening lashes, it's definitely, definitely really good. Mm. Oh my God, can you see my lashes? <gasps> this mascara is amazing. Oh my God. It is absolutely amazing. It could also be a combination of like my new pad and my eyelash curlers, but wow, wow. I've got, how have I got it on my cheek? <laughs> Okay, so last but not least, we're gonna try the matte bombs. And I don't know what one to go for, to be honest with you. I don't know whether to go for, I go for like this darker purpley one. Ooh, this is nice. So I'm gonna put on this matte bomb. This is what it looks like applied. And this is the Sansa Star, is that how you pronounce that? So I'm just gonna let it dry down and we'll see whether it goes matte, because obviously it is a matte bomb. Oh yeah, I can start to feel that it's drying down. <laughs> so yeah, you can definitely see where it's starting to dry down. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to wait for it to fully dry down. Um, so yeah, this is the best that I'm gonna get, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I know this video has been like quite like a mad rushed one, but sometimes it just happens. Sometimes just the way that it is, it is what it is. So this is the finished look. This eye still really annoy me, but I'll get over it. And I will not be doing that setting my P. Louise base ever again. The Forever Flowers palette, I feel like the formula is so much better. I do feel like the P. Louise kind of like messed this map side up, but the shimmers shouldn't have ever been impacted by it because there was a, a shade underneath it anyway. So yeah, the shimmer wasn't very good from this matte palette. I think the matte have been really impacted by me setting my P. Louise base. So I do apologise for that. But out of the two, I would say go for the Forever Flawless palette. It's more affordable. It's easier to like travel with. It's easier to start in your makeup collection, your makeup bag, etc. And I just, I prefer the colour story of this one more. It's just, it's very sexy. Very sexy. The brushes are really, really nice, really, really soft. Like, it feels like the brush quality has gone up. Yeah, the brush quality feels really good. The matte bomb is really, really nice and comfortable. Obviously, it's really starting to settle down now. The mascara, wow. Absolutely gobsmacked by the mascara. Like, just did not expect it at all. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Not one for volume, but one for really, really, like, fanning out and lengthening your lashes beautiful. The eyeliner obviously I love because it's a renaissance eyeliner, it's really easy to work with, really really pretty and really black and yeah that took me like two seconds to do which was amazing and yeah I think that is everything that I have tried today. I will be back tomorrow and we will try the shadow bombs and the dragon fire and winter ice palettes which is really exciting. Um, like I said please don't feel like you have to buy new launches. I love you so much and I will hopefully see you tomorrow for the other review. Love you so much, thank you so much. Bye.